because you're not breathing up, okay? You're keeping a lot of air in your body and trying to perform the exercise. There is a lot of stress um, within your body, okay? So that is why it's important for you to shout and let the air up, all right? Let's try it on the left side, 10 counts. Ready? Can T, H, B, Sa, Sh, Go. The first kick we're going to do is called Hizage or knee kick. So as the name implies, um, you'll be kicking up with your knee. One, two, okay? We take this opportunity to do it as a stretching exercise. So if you can, touch your chest with your knees, okay? H, A, Sa, Shi, Go, Hizage or to kick at a groin, all right? To generate power for the groin kick, we're gonna do a wind up. The wind up requires you, from the starting position, to lead with your knee, okay? Open up and do a flick out or groin kick to the target, okay? Go, rope, sit, touch, kill, Before the next um, kick, we're gonna do some um, exercises, okay? I'd like you to tap the ball of your right foot on the floor. Like this. Just feel which part of the foot you're using to hit the floor with. Next, we're gonna lift up our knee. So bring it up as high as you can, okay? For those of you who are um, a bit more um, practice, Okay, um, you can let go and just pull up your knee as high as you can. Okay, so make sure you're lifting it in front and not at the side. Okay? So watch my supporting legs here. So if right now my toes are pointing straight. If you keep your toes straight, you can probably lift up your knee uh, up to a certain point. For you to lift up your knee even higher, you will need to point your toes outwards, all right? So this is what we do, point your toes outwards, as you lift up your knee as high as you can, okay? So again, uh, if you can, just let go, pull it there. So this is to condition or train your body to have the correct position right before you perform the kick, okay? So the next kick we're gonna do is called Maegeri or front kick. So basically, as the name implies, you're kicking to the front. The point of the foot you want to use is the ball of the foot. The target you want to hit is at your um, body. Okay, or the midsection. Um, a popular target to hit in karate practice is the solar plexus or the liver, which is concentrated around here. Okay, so make sure that the pullback is there. Okay, the retraction of your leg is as important as the execution. Okay, so don't, don't just do this. Okay, kick, pull it back, and then have a good landing. Okay, let's continue the last side with the Look, sit, punch, kick. If um, just now you have your knees in front, this time I want you to have your knees on the outside. Okay, like this. Okay. So basically, um, make sure there is a space between your one leg and the other, with the knees pointing up. If you are not as flexible, having it lower is fine but make sure the alignment of the leg is correct, okay? The knee should be pointing outwards, okay? So the next kick we're gonna do is called Maoshi Giri. So Maoshi, as you know, is the roundabout direction. Uh, Maoshi Giri, therefore, is to kick um, from the outside in, okay, in a roundabout fashion. Go, go, sit, touch, change, age. We're gonna do um, side kick techniques this time. As you turn to the side, have your feet together and have your knees slightly bent, okay? With your hands to the center of the belt. If you don't have one, just um, have it like this. I want you to have your foot locked in this fashion, okay? So the foot has to be in a horizontal uh, line. This is uh, not correct, okay? 
make sure you have it horizontal with the blade of the foot pointing up. If for whatever reason you cannot walk your foot like that, at the very minimum, have your foot um, horizontally like this, okay? With your soles out, that's fine, okay? But make sure you have your foot um, horizontal like this. This is called Yoko Kyagegiri, so that means um, side rising kick. So look at where you're going and raise up as high as you can. One, two. Are you falling out of space uh, of um, your space every time you land? That's probably because, because after you land, you did not bend your knees. The whole reason why we bend our knees is to catch our balance as we recover. So that means after you kick, you bend your knees. We are lowering our center of gravity down, and therefore we are keeping our balance. Okay, if you keep your knees straight. Okay, the shock from the landing will tip your balance. The next kick we're gonna do is called your kogiri or side kick. As a challenge, I want you to keep your kick above the belt. Okay, so above the belt. All right. So this is the minimum. Otherwise, kick as high as you want to. Starting position is the same as before. Lift up your knee in front, but this time with your foot prepared. Okay, like this. Okay. So again, one is here. Two, because my target is there, see what happens to my supporting foot, okay? So you point your um, supporting heel to the target. When you do that, your toes are already at the direction of where you're supposed to hit. And the only thing you need to do now is to perform the kick, pull it back, and then down. So uh, in whole, side kick will look like this, okay? One and two. H, B, Sa, catch your balance, shake, go. The uh, last technique that we're gonna do is called joint kick or kansetsu kick, okay? Which joint we're gonna kick is the joint of the leg or your knee. Instead of kicking up, we're gonna be stomping it downwards, okay? Move your heel as before, that points to the direction of where you wanna go, kick to the knee, Bring it back and recover. Go, go, sit, hutch, kill, reach, the job, and all right.